want to publish your own book, but you don't have time to do that, in this video, I want to share with you six different ways you can do to get your book published, even though you don't have time. So I remember a few years ago, I really want to get my own book published. The problem is because I was so busy and also because my English was horrible because I was not a native speaker of English, right? So all I did was hiring a ghostwriter. But because the book they wrote was so bad, I learned this the hard way. That's the reason why I want to share with you six different ways you can do to get the your book published and that's high quality book and and best of all most of the time you don't need time right and so the first way you can do is you can write yourself yeah then that's the best way you can do to publish your own book but sometimes because you don't have time that's the reason why i want to introduce some other ways but if you can write yourself it's in your voice it's in your style people can recognize that and that's the best way for you to build your personal brand right so the second way you can do is you can hire ghost writers. Now I learned this the hard way because there are so many unethical ghost writers. They all they did was copy and paste the content from the internet. So instead of hiring them, I hired them to write a book um, directly. You want to hire them for smaller project, maybe hire them to write a five dollar. Uh, uh, small articles or $10 small articles, you want to check the quality and also their work ethic so that you can make sure they are just not copying and paste the content from the internet. And also you want to make sure their English is good enough, right? So you can use Grammarly to check that for you as well, right? So, and the best practice is that you want to give them the outline and also some material in advance. For example, if you want to cover some topic, you can send them the articles that you like so that they can check those articles. Or if you already have some recording, you, or if you have some YouTube channel, you can send your videos to your ghostwriter so they can consume those content and they can write the, the book based on your content, right? Another way you can do is you can transcript and edit. So if you don't want to totally depend on the ghostwriters, you can actually just um, give them your recording, maybe of your public speaking, or you can just record and on one hour on video or in the one hour audio, then you can talk about the topic and you send them those recording. So then can transcribe the content and edit it for you, right? Or if you already have some YouTube channel, you can just send them all the videos that related to the topic and they can just read and they can just watch those videos and come soon in and they can create the book for you, right? Another way you can do is PLR and licensing. So PLR stands for private label right, which means you go some website and you bite the right um, to publish the book under your name, right? So for example, there's some websites, they have some, so many books, you can just buy the private label rights from them. So they will let you publish their those book under your name. But sometimes because the quality of those books is low, so you really want to buy a lot of them and try to find the best part of each and compile them into a new one. Another way you can do is licensing. So which means you find some book uh, or some free report, it's really great. You can try to contact the owner and can say, hey, if I get uh, the license from you. So that's a way for you to do about that as well. Another one is you can recycle content, right? So for example, if you already have a blog and you know you got so many traffic for that, you know there's some articles, it, it's like it, your audience just like it. You can just recycle the same content. You can just find the best blog post up in your blog and you can recycle them, you can compile them into a book. Another way is you can recycle your existing book. For example, you, if you already publish a book in, in one niche, you can just recycle it into another new niche. For example, if you have a book about list building for entrepreneur, and you know uh, there's another niche, they need the same content, and you just change some words, and you can change it into a new book. So that's a way for you to publish a new book as well. So there are many ways you can recycle content. You can just use your creativity to create a lot of book, right? Another one is public domain. Now this one is big because there are so many people are making great money just by publishing public domain book. So any book before 1923, 
is in public domain. They are not protected by copyright law. So you can add, you can use that without any problem. So if you want to publish public domain, you really want to edit the content because sometimes the language they are using is pretty old, right? It's old fashioned uh, way of saying things like old, use old slang. So you can actually hire someone to add it for you so that you can make sure that using modern languages, people understand that, right? And that's the best way you can do to get your public domain book published. So those are six different ways you can do to publish your own book. I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you soon in the next video.